Hey, Kenneth, we're doing the thing for the first video where you're telling who, who we are. Oh, Go. hi, I'm Kenneth Teal, and I'm a chemical engineer from the University of Oklahoma. Perfect. Jordan, you heard him. Hi, I'm Jordan Masterson, aerospace engineer from the University of Oklahoma. Got it. Hey, Kevin. What's up? Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer from the University of Oklahoma. Perfect. Good goals there, man. Thanks. What are you doing over here? I'm full. I'm an electric engineer from the University of Oklahoma. Oh, and I'm Colton Topachi, Industrial Systems Engineering. We would like to introduce our product, the Home Recycler. But first, we would like to discuss 3D printing. Advances in the industry have made 3D printers affordable enough to be included in homes. As many as 278,000 desktop 3D printers were sold in 2015. It seems the only limits are imagination and the amount of plastic you have. The Home Recycler takes recyclable plastics, melts it, and molds it into a filament that can be fed into a 3D printer. Its design is that of an extruder. A screw is placed in a heated tube. As the screw spins, it pushes the polymer melt from one end of the extruder to the other and through a small hole, which is attached to a mold. Our goal is to save customers money by allowing them to recycle their own plastic instead of buying multiple rows of filament. The 3D printing industry is growing quickly, but it is still quite small, so few companies are selling a way to recycle plastic rather than selling filament. Of the products that are similar to the Home Recycler, our product will have a cost advantage. The Home Recycler will sell for $220, whereas other products cost as much as $700. The worldwide 3D printing industry is expected to grow from $5.2 billion in 2016 to $12.8 billion in 2018, and we expect similar growth for sales and plastic recyclers. So what do we need from you? This project requires a capital investment to cover equipment, manufacturing costs, labor, workspace, and advertisement. Additionally, we require legal services and manufacturing recommendations for providers overseas. In return for $150,000 investment, we are willing to part with 40% stake in our company. We are expecting a capital return of, of two years for our investors. This is our time planning. Uh, here we have time and weeks on this Gantt chart, and it shows precedence, which is something we really liked. And so you can see that research is going to take about a month, design is going to take about a month and a half, uh, development and prototyping both start at the same time. So development takes up two months, prototyping takes up about four months. And actual manufacturing and shipping will take about three months. We've planned this program for 14 months and we allowed ourselves three and a half months of cushioning.